Welcome to season two of the Fit to Love podcast show. exercise, all about movement, all about you. Enjoy the show. Today's show was brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at fittolovebook.com. Today's show, working your back muscles. So for those of you that don't ever work your back muscles, it's really important for posture. Not that when you build the muscles, they're gonna hold you there without you thinking about it. Posture is still very much neurological. You have to be thinking about it. You have to be aware of yourself in space and you have to activate those muscles to hold you up. But a lot of times when people sit up straight or stand up straight, they they feel their lower back or they start to feel a little bit tight and sore and tired in their back muscles because you don't have the strength. So there's many different exercises that you can do for your back. We're gonna concentrate on a row. Now all the exercises that I'm gonna do for the next few weeks on this wonderful piece of equipment, the cable cross machine, we can also do at home with a bag of tubing. So if you watched my, one of the very first shows I did, Building Your Home Gym, I discussed how this little bag of tubing can do everything this machine can do. It's gonna just be limited in the amount of intensity that you can add. So obviously the machine's gonna have more weight, but there are ways around that with the bag of tubing. So we will do that back at, my ho- back at my house in a few months. So let's talk about attachments. On the cable cross machine, you have the option to use many different kinds of handles or bars or ropes or pulleys. And so let's, next week, we're gonna do a one-arm row and you're gonna use a handle. And there are different kinds of handles, but this is the handle we'll use next week. I want to talk about a piece that I don't like at all, and you're, not, you're rarely going to hear me say that, but I hate this piece of I hate this attachment. And when I see somebody put this attachment on the machine, what it tells me is that they have no idea what the, how their body works. When you see how I do a row, you will see that my hands, remember we talked about last week in the machines versus free weights, and how when you put your hands and you lock them into a position that doesn't allow your full range of motion and your path of motion, that's what happens with this, with this attachment. For a row, I need my hands to be as wide as my shoulders. I don't get that here. So this piece of equipment when doing a row actually hinders your ability to use the muscles that we're trying to target in the first place. So, I don't like this, get rid of it, saw it in half, use it as an individual handle. So in this gym today, we're gonna use this handle. I don't even know if it has a name, but this is what you're gonna use. Uh, You could also use a rope, but normal ropes aren't long enough. So it'd have to be an attachment that has a nice, that's able to get as wide as your shoulders. That's the whole point. So let's start talking about the actual muscles. So in your back, along your spine, you've got your rhomboids and your traps. And down here we have our lats. And everything attaches at the spine. So we want to make sure that we are contracting both sides closer into the spine. And what I, the biggest mistake I see people doing with row is using their arms and their biceps only. So here's what it normally looks like wrong. It normally looks like this, people pulling with their arms and with their biceps. And if you notice, you see nothing going on in my back. I'll show you this way. This is wrong. This is wrong. (laughs) You see nothing going on in my back. Okay, so from the back, now watch. The whole point is to use your back to pull the weight and to pull the resistance. So you're going to contract your shoulder blades first and then continue to use the rest of your shoulders and your arms to get a full contraction of all those muscles that we just talked about. So from the side, it looks like this. You're going to keep your arms locked. You're going to sit down in a position so that you can stabilize your body. You're going to pull with your shoulder blades first. This is called retraction. You're going to use those back muscles to do the exercise. Otherwise, you're using your arms. So we're going to pull back with the shoulder blades and the shoulders. And when I can't go back any further, now I'm going to use the rest of my arms and my shoulders. So again, shoulder blades, shoulders, then arms. And this just ensures that I'm getting the muscles I want to target. Otherwise, you're just going to get a bicep exercise. And what a waste. Just do a different exercise for biceps. The capabilities of this is to actually get all those muscles, your lats, your traps, your rhomboids, your rear delt. And you're just going to get biceps anyway. 
So doing it again so you can see. Shoulder blades, shoulders, back of the arms, and then your front of the arms. So using your back to pull the weight. This is key when doing resistance training for those muscles. So again, this is called a row, and this is a row actually using your back. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If the show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.